So in this video, I answer yet another question that people are asking a lot lately, and it involves these. These are enclosed lasers, and these are two of my favorites, and I'm gonna tell you which one is better. So let's get started. Now, if I could identify a trend in the diode laser market in 2023, it would be a move away from open frame lasers, which are honestly pretty dangerous, to closed lasers, where the entire laser is encapsulated in its own box. Now this change in market direction has spawned quite a few new products recently and I've reviewed some of them on my channel already and, and I'll certainly review more uh, very soon so stay tuned for those. But when there's lots of selection in a new market segment people inevitably start asking questions and I've addressed hundreds of these in email and it's always the same kinds of questions. How much should I spend? Which laser is better? Which one's more expandable? Which one has more capability? And I, I'm a little uncomfortable telling somebody where to spend their money, but I'll do my best in this video to highlight the features of two specific lasers and show you why you might want to buy one over the other. Now I've picked a couple of contender lasers to go head to head in this video, and it's really deliberately not an apples to apples comparison. And that's because one of these lasers is the highest end of the market, meaning it's the most expensive, and the other laser is the entry level laser and we'll see whether there's really that much difference for the money. So laser number one in this comparison is the We Create Vision. It's a new company and a new laser, but it's gained a lot of popularity in a very short period of time for a couple of reasons. It's priced right and it's very easy to use. And that's a secret sauce for a lot of people who are just getting into the space. Laser number two in this competition will be our high-end laser. It's also a new laser, but it's built by an established company. This is the Xtool S1, and people will buy this laser for very different reasons than they would buy a WeCreate Vision. For, for the most part, people will buy an S1 specifically because it's built by Xtool and their reputation for building high-quality lasers for years. Now, Xtool is also pushing hard on the Class 1 laser certification and that means it's safe and people are kind of focused on that. But is this laser actually worth the money? Is it better than a WeCreate Vision? Well, we're gonna find out. We'll, we'll compare all the stats head to head. We'll run a few tests, we'll build a little project. And at the end, you can see which laser you should be buying. So I did struggle initially here to try and figure out the best way to present this information. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'll present you with the on paper specs, which you can now see on the screen here. And then I'll go through the nuances of each laser and some of the features that make it unique uh, as we go. So initially here you can see the specifications for both of these lasers is virtually identical. The workspace size is certainly different on both of them. Uh, same speed, same size laser spot size. And in the case of power, the, the we create is 20 watts. The Xtool S1 is available in both a 20 and a 40. I have a 40, which is the one I'll be showing, but I'll also price out the 20 so you can compare power for power. Uh, on, on the software side, they both offer their own custom design control software for the laser. It has some authoring capabilities and they're both really, really good. I would say that neither has the edge, uh, but the, in addition to their own custom software, Xtool also supports light burn, which may be a, an important consideration for some. Due to the unique features of both of these lasers though, in order to take advantage of those, you really do need to use their own software. So keep that in mind. Uh, on the feature side, the WeCreate has a, has a built-in camera, which is deadly accurate, and I'll talk a bit more about that as we go. It also has radar-driven autofocus, so nothing has to come down and touch the material to figure out where the laser is. Uh, rotary option is available. Now on my package, it's included, and again, I'll price different, different things out here so you can see them. And uh, a significant uh, advantage to the WeCreate is that the crumb tray in the bottom is removable, so you don't have to tear everything out and, and try and figure out how to vacuum out the laser. That's the case in the S1. Now on the S1 side, you have touch autofocus, so a little stick comes down and touches the material advantages and disadvantages and we'll talk about those uh, a rotary option is available i don't have it on this laser and in order to get the extra height on an s1 you need to buy a riser box which is available separately and also one advantage over the we create is it has a conveyor option so if you want to cut something that's really long like three three meters three thousand millimeters 
you can do that if you have the conveyor option, all added price, of course. So this is the basic specs we're gonna start with. And now I'll kind of go into some of the nuances of why both these and some of the other things are important on each of these lasers. Now I'll start with Air Assist. Both lasers have it. The We Create it tends to look more like one of those aquarium pumps. By contrast, the X-Tool has an adjustment knob on top that lets you go from automatic to one of five different settings. So I don't, I'm not sure which one's better, but uh, more, you know, more control, I guess, is, is, a, is a better option in the long run. Next, we'll talk about autofocus, which is a key component of both of these lasers. Now, in the case of the WeCreate, it uses what I assume is ultrasonic focus. So it moves the head down close to the material. And when it gets to the right range, it stops. It's perfect focus every time. By contrast, the X-Tool uses a little touch probe and it comes down. Now, on the X-Tool, I have seen this probe try and touch into the honeycomb where there's no material. Uh, and it also can get jammed and it just kind of hangs on the side with magnets so it can get pried off and then you end up restarting everything. So I personally like the autofocus on the WeCreate much better just because it is no muss, no fuss, and I don't even have to think about it. Now let's talk about material positioning. So on the WeCreate, you certainly have a camera and that camera works remarkably well. It's accurate to within a millimeter. So if you drop a piece of material in there with a bunch of holes in it, but it still has some, some good workable material, you can position your work very, very accurately in, a, in a, the space where there's remaining material. So that works exceptionally well. Now you can do the same kinds of things on the, on the X-Tool S1 but you end up doing this two point positioning, which also works well. It's just, it's a little more tedious and uh, it's certainly better than the typical accuracy of a light burn camera, but it's not nearly as good as what the WeCreate has. Now let's start looking at some of the extension accessories. I'll start with the rotary because both of these support a rotary. On the WeCreate that I have, the rotary was included in the package and you can certainly buy it separately after, but as a package deal, it's a little cheaper. By contrast, the S1 doesn't come with a rotary and you have to buy the riser box to put underneath the laser in order to use the rotary. So you're now looking at two relatively expensive additions to the package to get the same functionality that's built into the WeCreate. The WeCreate's riser just goes up and down automatically and it does what it's supposed to do. You don't have to think about it. But on the X-Tool, once you have the riser, you also get the option of adding a conveyor option. So you can take material that's the width of the workspace, but then up to three meters long, and you can cut things that are much longer. So that's a really nice feature, and there isn't anything like that on the WeCreate. Now I wanna to touch on the software once more, just before we move on from here. Both of the lasers have their own software, of course, and they both can do AI generation where you describe a photo or an image that you'd like and have the tool generate that for you, and that's kind of neat, but if you wanna actually build a project, that's not gonna help you. You have to do some actual design. Now this is one place where the, where the WeCreate Vision has a distinct advantage over the X-Tool S1, and that's because they have a pretty significant library and we can take a look at it. And when I do look at this, you can see there's just hundreds of projects that are just pre-built for you and you can just grab any of them and you can say, you know, I want to build a new light and you can pick that and add it to your canvas. You can also download a, a, a manual. It gives you a little detail here on how to cut it and, and how, how to assemble it. And when you're ready, you can just click make it and it will go stick it in your workspace. Now notice that it does put all the things you need on individual pages and that's just kind of cool. Now, before you say, hey, Steve, you're an idiot because Xtool also has a library. They do, but it's much smaller and it's generally community contributed. So you're kind of at the mercy of whoever uploaded things and it's not nearly as big. It's t there's maybe 20 or 25 designs there as opposed to hundreds. So uh, definitely an advantage to the WeCreate vision. But at this point, I'm gonna create my own project because I wanna run it on both lasers uh, using effectively the same settings. So here in We Create Make It, uh, I have a Christmas decoration because Christmas is only a couple weeks away. Uh, I downloaded this off of uh, a free image site, so uh, I'll put a link to it down below. 
and then I added a cut line around it. So this will create a, a fairly large uh, Christmas decoration in my case. And you can be able, you can see the comparison between the two lasers. That's why I did this. And when I run the jobs here, uh, I'm running it on both lasers and I'll do a cool split screen kind of thing here just so you can see them both working. Now I'm running this about 2000% speed so the laser's not moving that quickly, but just gives you a feel for, for how the laser does the engraving. I tried to get settings so that they're both the same uh, from an output perspective and we'll see what the results look like. And as expected, both lasers produce great results, although one of them is substantially cheaper than the other. And the results on the WeCreate side looked fantastic. The cut was nice and clean over on the S1 side, virtually the same, although the default line density for, for this material is probably a little low. I could have bumped it up manually just to get a better result. And uh, there they are, the results side by side. All right, so I've left the proverbial elephant in the room till the very end, and that's price, of course. Now, I have the S1 pricing up here for the 20 watt version, including the rotary, which also gives you the the riser and that makes it a functional equivalent to the we create vision and you can see that's twenty two hundred dollars now i've heard lots of people say oh the s1 is overpriced or x tool lasers are overpriced and to some degree maybe that's that's a, a thing but in reality i think they're built really really well and arguably worth that money now here I have the WeCreate Vision pricing and you can see the laser with the rotary pack is $1,450 currently and that's substantially cheaper than the X-Tool S1. So that in itself is maybe worth buying but when you consider that the Vision also has an all metal case and it's got a much better focusing mechanism including the automatic riser, this is definitely a pretty compelling package. So where does this leave us? Well, we've clearly got two fantastic lasers sitting on the workbench here, and they're both safely encapsulated in their own cabinets, which means you can run them on a, work, a workbench like I have them here, or you can run them on a desk in your office and not worry about stray beams flying around, potentially blinding you. That, of course, is very important. But let's face it, you can't go wrong with either of these lasers. Now, if you do want potentially that carousel so you can cut longer material, or maybe you want the slightly bigger workspace, then you probably do want the X-Tool S1. You're willing to pay that extra money, but if you want all metal construction, a much better autofocus system, and a camera that's better than any light burn camera I've ever seen, then you might want to consider the we create vision because it's going to save you money in in up front and potentially in the long run so we can leave it at that and get out there make your world and i'll see you next time